perfect. All right, so I'm noticing, I'm noticing that you're inconsistent. You're a little inconsistent in the distance that you're shooting at. Yes. So on your approach, come back here a little bit. Okay. So on your on your approach when you're chipping, like, like what process are you going through to try to get the ball to the hole? And, Okay, um, do you try to pick a spot or anything like that where you're chipping to, or are you just trying to get it to the hole? I'm just trying to get it to the hole. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm gonna work on now is, I wanna try to pick a spot that we're gonna chip to. Okay, okay that's gonna allow that ball to get on the green and then roll to our target. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing to fly the ball to the target, but then, uh, then you're stuck with a 10 to 12 footer coming back. Yeah. You know? So what we're gonna do is, I have a ring here. We're gonna pick a spot about where we wanna to try to land the golf ball to get the ball to roll to the pin. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Now, to really kind of keep pack, keeping his, keeping the club low through the zone, and keeping the club following, finishing low. Try to land it in that circle. Try to land in that circle. Okay, a little bit short of our target. What that target on the green is doing, it's allowing Pat to have a visual to, to aim at besides the hole. It's giving him the ability to choose a, choose a spot on the green so that he can best approach the shot so that he's left with a short makeable putt or holding out. So I'm gonna let Pat hit a couple more to that target there on the green, and then I'm gonna take the target away so that we can show how the learning is transferred into his approach to the shot. You know, what's, what's funny about this shot is, you know, if, if you don't have a circle in your golf bag, you can always use a golf tee as well, you know?
shot as if you're about if you're playing the shot. So you got your shot here. And now I want you to find that spot on the green and chip to that spot. Okay. I always like to, I call it spot spot chipping or pitching. You're always gonna chip or pitch to a spot with the anticipation of rolling the ball to your to the pit. Okay. To the, to the flag stick. Might be hard for the camera to pick up on that, but that was pretty much spot on. try to find that spot on the green. It's okay. not, I mean, I, yes, it's always good to figure out the distance to the pin, but I think it's more important to find the spot on the green that you want to try to hit in order to get the ball closest to the hole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that makes sense to you. Absolutely. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna move forward now. We're gonna grab an eight iron. Okay. And we're gonna work with a, a little bit of a club face. How the club face is gonna affect the golf ball when you're pitching and chipping as far as going uphill. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. 